this is Julie Barlow, a realtor with Mike Mizek Realty, and this is Donna Stottlemyre, and she is the chapter lead for Rockwall Roy City for Love on a Leash. And um, we are here with Odin also. Odin. Let me turn the camera. You see Odin. And Odin is one of their therapy dogs, and I'm so excited to hear from you, Donna, and find out about your organization and why you got involved and what these wonderful um, animals do and, and what y'all do. <laughs> well, we might have Odin's backside a little bit here because he's interested in all the people they're walking yes, by. Yes, yes. He is a people person. And uh, so we are with Level on a Leash. It is a nonprofit volunteer organization. I got started in Level on a Leash in 2013 uh, with uh, Retha Lewis was starting the Rock Roy Roy City chapter. Uh, I had a different Irish wolfhound at that time. Her name was Brianna. So she was my first Irish wolfhound and my Aww. first therapy dog. Aww. So she was a little over three years old when she got started, but she was very well suited for therapy work. Yes. And uh, then Odin is my second uh, therapy dog and he <laughs> is an Irish wolfhound also. So he's, where are you looking for? <laughs> there is Odin. So uh, Miss Retha had started the chapter uh, and uh, at that time, then she needed to come on, turn around here, turn around here, turn around here and say hi. Odin. There you go, say hi. Odin. So she uh, she needed uh, somebody to take over the chapter, so I did that in 2015. And uh, the Love and a Leash program, like I said, is all volunteer and it's all nonprofit. It was started in the early 1980s in California by Liz Polica, okay. and then it was incorporated as a 501c3 corporation in 1995. So right now, Love on a Leash has two chapters in Texas. Oh, okay. They have our Rockwell Roy City chapter, yes. and we also have a Greenville chapter that was started a few years later to try to reach further east into Texas. Uh, Retha Lewis also started that one to okay. try to expand and get more people. And uh, so uh, right now, uh, Peggy Gooch is, is over the Greenville chapter. Okay. So, but in uh, Love on a Leash has chapters in uh, about 48 states. Oh, wow. They have a lot of members that may not be in an, a specific chapter, but are members of Love on a Leash. And uh, probably over 2,000 handlers are volunteering. Oh That's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. So we do uh, volunteer work for hospice. So we visit hospice patients in nursing homes and assisted living. Uh, we have three different places that we standardly visit every month okay. for our hospice visitations. Uh, we go to Greenville uh, to Legend Nursing Home. Okay. Uh, there's Tender Care by Colonial in Greenville also. And then we have Broadmoor here in Rockwall. And that's where we're actually heading yes. after we get done here oh, today. Good. Good we good. have a team in training. They have to uh, pass a control evaluation, okay. which is like a standard canine good citizen test. It does the basic evaluation of all the um, normal commands you expect, sit down, stay, mm -hmm. um, as well as making sure that they're not easily startled by loud noises. So you want yes. a dog that has the basic obedience and then that they're good with people. Yes. And they like to travel because you wouldn't want to take an animal with you and they'd be tummy upset when they get there yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we go anywhere that we're welcomed. So okay. we're not the same as a service dog. Right. A service dog is an animal that is trained to help one specific person with a specific activity. Yes. So you're going to have somebody that's going to help somebody that's hearing impaired, visually impaired, um, seizures, um, uh, that has uh, diabetes, those type of things that they can alert for mm -hmm. them. Those dogs can go anywhere that their, their person that they are hand helping can go. And they are, when you see them out in public, you want to make sure that you don't interrupt them from their job. Good point. Uh, there's also emotional support animals, which is not quite the same benefits as a, uh, a service dog, but um, they have some of the same uh, guidelines that they are working for their, their person. Yes. And then you have the therapy dogs. Therapy dogs are there for everybody. Yes. So it's, it's always nice when people do ask if they can pet them. That's a very good courtesy to ask, yes. just to make sure maybe you're not working on a training, something that you're doing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, it's, and it's just good courtesy for any animal that you see to make sure that the handler's aware that you're there yes. and that you ask permission. So that's good. Mm -hmm. um, you get a lot of attention at the Rockwell Harbor. I bet you do. Yes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Irish wolfhounds in particular are, are very, very well suited to be therapy dogs. Yes. Okay. Hi. So, so Odin is an Irish wolfhound. They are originally from Ireland and their job was to hunt wolves. So that's how they got their name. There's no wolves left in Ireland. <laughs> uh, they are known as a gentle giant and the AKC recognizes them as the tallest breed. If they stand on their back legs, they would be tall based on the length of their spine and the length of their leg. So they are a tall dog. Odin himself is, a little, is uh, about three and a half years old. 
and he's been certified since he was a little over a year as a therapy dog. Uh -huh. He has already done over a hundred therapy visits. So he's a good ambassador for his breed, for Irish Wolfhounds. <laughs> and uh, he's about 160 pounds. We get a lot of those same questions. Is that a horse? Yeah. Um, so my answer is usually no, he's my little pony. Aww. And um, very, very, very much likes to meet new people. When we're first going yeah. into a facility, he wants to say hi to everybody. So we've been there a while and then he slows down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but he's, he's a good boy. He seems like it. What other breeds do you work with a lot? Or are there any typical ones? We have a lot of breeds in our chapter. We have Great Danes. Mm -hmm. We have Labradoodles. The lady that I'm meeting today has a Golden Labradoodle. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Pit Bulls in our, in our, our program. Oh. Uh, she's a rescue and that's one of our dog trainers that are in our program. <laughs> They're going to get Cute. slow down here. <laughs> so. Um, so we have we have a lot of different breeds. We had uh, a rescue a lot of different rescue dogs uh -huh. have um, have been certified to be therapy dogs. With the rescue dog, you do have to have them at least six months. Okay. And the dog all dogs have to be over one year old to be eligible. But Love and Leash will also certify cats and rabbits. Really. And the Greenville wow. chapter actually has a bunny rabbit. Oh my goodness. And it is adorable. It is a miniature, and her name is Lala. Lala. So Cute. she is very sweet. Aww. So Donna, tell me, when people are around the therapy dogs, mm -hmm. I mean, how does it make them feel? What is the what is the the ministry or the the um, purpose? What it's doing for them? Can you explain that to me. Yes, ma'am. So when we when we go visit, a lot of times, we'll, uh, when you're speaking with the elderly, you don't always want to ask how are you feeling, because as you get older, you get more aches and pains. Yeah. So you don't want to dwell on that. You want to dwell on happy things. So a lot of times, we'll say, "How's the day treating you? How's your day going?" Oh. And a lot of times we will hear when we come in with the therapy dogs, it's much better now. Aww. And so that, that, is, that is a wonderful thing to be able to see the smiles on their face yeah. when you come in and you ask, would you like to pet the dog? And they look at you and they say, yes, I would love to. Aww. So we, we very much enjoy uh -huh. uh, going out and visiting. Uh, there was a lady that was uh, at one of the assisted livings here that um, Brookdale Summer Ridge is very welcoming to us and we would do a lot of our training there with mm -hmm. our therapy dogs doing supervised visits. And the one lady, she always wanted the dogs to get up on the couch right beside Aww. her and she would, you know, get lots of love and attention yeah. um, and they would get lots of love and attention. So it's a win-win it's a situation yes. there. And unfortunately, whenever she passed, um, it was a sad time for us, but her son asked us to come to her funeral. Oh, that's we went to visitation and everything and he said that she always called them her dogs oh, and uh, so it was very sweet and he asked in lieu of flowers for people to donate to love on a leash that's wonderful isn't that wonderful it is. things so we try to do some you know fundraising we did one at the wood shop here in rockwall okay uh we made signs and uh they they do a um a, a fundraising program there. We've done uh, painting with a twist before. Yes. And so those are good local uh, businesses that help mm -hmm. out with fundraisers. It's very nice of them to, to be able to do that. That is great. Everything. So Love and Leash was one of the ones that helped uh, the AKC set up their therapy recognition program. Okay. There was like five different therapy dog pro therapy programs that uh, help contribute and give information to the AKC. So that's why Odin has a award from the AKC uh, for his, his visits. Oh, let me see. AKC Therapy Dog, his canine good citizen. And then on the other side, he has his AKC Star Puppy. He did that before he was a year old. Aww. And he has an advanced degree for the elderly from Love on a Leash. Wow. So Love on a Leash does it based on the type of visitation you're doing, either it's children or, uh -huh. or elderly. So he's, he's visited, visited at least 50 elderly visits. Uh, the AKC does theirs based on any type of visit, cumulative. Yes. So you have to turn everything in, you have to have it documented when you go to the facility. And uh, so he has done over 100 visits as of last month for his AKC recognition. That is great. Wow. So you're welcome to. And if you have an interest in pet therapy, we'll be more than happy to share information. You can always go to the national website, loveonaleash.org. Okay. 
we follow all of the national guidelines. So anything that it says you're supposed to do or not do, that's what we follow. Okay. Make sure that people have the contact information they need to get in touch okay. with y'all. And um, just educating the Rockwall community about you and mm -hmm. Rockwall Roy City, of course, and, mm -hmm. and um, that y'all are here and available to, to serve. Yes, ma'am. So it's been great. Thank great. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for your interest in sharing yeah. uh, the Love on a Leash details with everybody. Absolutely.